Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Monday, December 18, 2017, and I am tired today. I really am a busy weekend. I put out two videos over the weekend, but I think I got some important information out, and I want to talk about that a little bit here. Um, let's, let's kind of sum up what is going on right now, uh, and there is cash to be made here, people. This is opportunity. I mean, it's everywhere. You know, I say this all the time. So, <laughs> so let's start off with this. Uh, as I am doing this video blog, all of the major stock indices are at yet again new record highs. Now, if you recall the video that I did on Friday, I explained to you, well, <laughs> a few things, but I, I told you that I, I had two positions open calls on SPY and calls on Facebook and I usually never hold them throughout the weekend. I like to close my positions at the end of the week so I can sleep better. But I explained to you the reason why I thought I should hold them here. Um, again, we understand that they're going to prop up this bond market and they're going to push stocks higher, especially right here, uh, meaning this time period where we're entering uh, what I believe is going to be the beginning of the Santa Claus rally starting today. So long story short, if you held those two positions, if you were in those positions like I said at the end of last week till now, um, you're up like 30 something percent on SPY, more than that, like 32, 33 percent. Uh, Facebook also a nice nice gain there so congratulations to you on that uh, I am planning on holding those positions uh, maybe the rest of the week I'm not sure but I'll keep you all updated so let's look at the environment right now again all of the major indices are higher and up higher by a large margin gold is higher silver is higher the US dollar is under pressure and bonds, credit worthy bonds, let me be more specific here, is under a little bit of pressure. Watch that today. Watch what they do and you can do what I'm going to do and that's roll around the floor laughing. Go to my website traderschoice.net. I set it up for you right under the chat room. Right now you'll see bonds are under a little bit of pressure. There's a nice big red line there. If that continues they will start to buy those bonds up. I have no doubt about it. And why do I know that? Because it happens every single time. They will not allow the bond market to uh, fall. Just, it has to be managed. This is the Federal Reserve. You understand that. But I also want you to pay attention to junk bonds, ticker J and K. Junk bonds or high yield bonds are being bought up right now. So what does that tell us? Let's put this together. High yields being bought up, credit, credit, not credit worthy, but these high yield junk bonds being bought up means risk. It means the market wants to take on risk. You got it? So that's, and you can see what's happening. Look at the stock market. It's going up higher. If you're in here, almost in anything right now today, you're going to make money. Again, the Wall Street bigwigs over there, their bonuses depend on year-end profits in a lot of ways, well, in every way. So they're going to push this higher, they're going to do what they need to do uh, to pad those bonuses and you can ride that wave as well, it's just so important. So what's happening again, bonds are under a little bit of pressure, keep your eye on that, it will not be allowed to continue, they want stocks higher and they will go higher. Um, this week will end higher than it is now. Uh, I have almost no doubt about that. Again, I went over why with the big wigs on Wall Street wanted to pad their bonuses. It's insane. But this is the game. They want to play it. Good. They're going to give us a gift. We will gladly take that gift, okay? Junk bonds being bought up. Dollar down, gold and silver higher. I hate talking about them. You know the price action is not real, but hey, whatever let's let's just throw that into the whole pie here um i want to talk about a few other things here um uh, i did a couple of videos this weekend about bitcoin uh, i've been explaining over the past several weeks 
that you need all you need to do here is follow the futures markets. Like, I mean, we have Elmer's after Elmer's after Elmer's coming out here, you know, still saying that Greg is wrong. Meanwhile, uh, it's it's right in front of their faces. I mean, like you you could literally try to explain something to you could tell them that you know the sky is blue on on a nice clear day, and they won't even if they look at it, they, they they'll deny it. Or you could tell them that water is wet and show and say, look, look check it, it's wet. And even if they check it, they'll deny that too. Th these kind of denier people like that, again, they're brainwashed. Absolutely fanatics and they refuse to understand what's happening right before their eyes even though they're seeing it. But this is really simple for those of us out here, maybe you uh, want to get back into Bitcoin or something. I personally think, and I covered this, pay attention to this seriously, um, that because of this futures market, the, the freedom that was once in Bitcoin has now been taken away. So the smart money, and you can see this, since the futures exchange started on Bitcoin, started going into altcoins more so than it was before. I mean, you know, cash has been pouring into these coins for a while now, but when the futures on Bitcoin open, that's it. You started to see them go higher. Now, I think that trend is going to continue, but this is where we need to be looking here and I'm starting to do a lot of thinking on this. It, my brain just never stops I mean, with this regard to any aspect of this market. It's crazy. We need to start looking for kind of off the radar, uh, up and comers here. And don't just buy an altcoin because it's cheap. You understand? Usually you get what you pay for. Usually. Obviously it didn't pay out, that play out that way with regard to, to Bitcoin, but we're in a different environment now. So what I'm going to suggest here is look into um, coins that maybe have something else behind them. For example, and I know I'm a little biased here, um, but the cryptocurrency Steam, S-T-E-E-M, is backed by a social network, Steemit, which is getting bigger and bigger every single day. You understand? And... The thing about Steam that I happen to like as a currency, a cryptocurrency, is it's relatively stable. It's been gaining and gaining and gaining, but oh, lately, over the past few months, but it's stable. It's not having these bizarre swings, which, you know, any kind of a, a, a currency needs to have stability. So, you know, the, the, the Bitcoin fanatics, I'm not talking about the investors here who understand what they're doing. The Elmers, okay? These people, they just want to see go to 100, 200,000, which is all well and good, but then it's not a currency anymore. Then what is it? It's some kind of a, I don't know, you tell me what it is. If it, if it needs to be a currency, if they want it to be a currency, it has to be stable to be adopted. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. So, um, with regard to that, Start looking for alternative coins that are up and coming, maybe linked to something, backed by something, because um, I, I think we're entering a new paradigm here. Cryptocurrency is going to be here to stay. There's no doubt about it, and I know there's a lot of you out here who don't believe that. I, I do believe that. The technology is definitely here to stay. There's no doubt about that. And I think there's opportunity here. I, I, I'm not saying... For the trolls out here, once again, I got to cater these people once in a while, that Bitcoin isn't going to go higher. But look what happened yesterday. I mean, we had the CME Futures Exchange open, the largest in the world. Initially, there was a knee-jerk higher reaction. Then within like an hour or two, it dropped 6% in the futures. And what did that do? It pulled Bitcoin down with it. Hey, wait a minute. Who's been saying that's going to happen Follow the futures and you'll know where Bitcoin is going to go. Oh, wait, that was me, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes I get these things right. Sometimes I get these things right. All right, so look, um, like I said, I put, a, I put a whole perspective on this market. Watch that bond market. I believe we're going to finish this week higher. Santa Claus rally here now. Um, I might be taking up some new positions today, so if you follow me on the so my social networks, I will post them there, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, you don't have to rush into these positions just because I'm in them at the exact time, you understand? Uh, you, you know, you've got to sit there by your computer and, and wait 
No, just don't worry about it. You don't have to, don't, don't get ahead of yourself like that. You can always get in a little later. That's fine. I might not get in on the best price anyway. When I'm entering the position, it might be a better time to buy an hour later or two hours later. You're never going to get in or out of any asset at the absolute lowest price or the absolute highest price. So don't worry about that. Don't get all panicky about that. All right. So um, with that said, keep your eye on, start looking for other coins other than Bitcoin. All right. It's not the only game in town. My, my God. Everyone thinks that Bitcoin is the only game in town. Look, it's the same thing. Look here. Look here. Don't look here. You should be looking here, not here. You know that. I mean, this is, this is how you make the system, however rigged it may be, work for you. Understand? Start looking into Steam. Steam, I think, is an up-and-comer here. Again, I might be a little biased here, but I do believe it's an up-and-comer because it's linked to a social network that is getting bigger every day. Makes sense, doesn't it? So, uh, and it, it's, it's stable. This might be what you're looking for. And you can earn Steam without putting any even a, a, a dollar or a, or, or a euro into it just by joining the Steam it network and posting I mean really what could be better than that I'm up to like I don't know thirty four or thirty five thousand dollars now uh, just by posting granted I have a big audience but you gotta start somewhere and if you don't feel like or if you don't have any actual money that you want to throw in here just put in some time post pictures of your dog or your beautiful wife or your handsome husband or Farm animals. I don't know. Pick something. Stop posting over there. Um, check out an article that I wrote. Uh, it's in the description of this video uh, with regard to why I believe that uh, Steam uh, is an up-and-comer with regard to cryptocurrencies. All right. With that said, I know it's getting kind of long, but I will see all of you at the end of the day, and we'll we'll kind of put it all together. Over and out.